Today we're going to build the Raskog cart from Ikea. These are the only two tools you're going to need. The wrench that comes with the kit and a screwdriver. The Raskog cart is one of the most interesting and versatile items you're going to be able to find in Ikea. The internet is chock full of ideas of what you can use these carts for. So let's take a look at what it looks like coming out of the box. The basic components are three trays, the sidebars, and the wheels. That's basically what makes up the Ruskog cart. That and the hardware that's included in the kit. You can see here the bottom parts of the frame. And these are more of the side parts of the frame. We'll get to those shortly. And let's get this last bottom basket out of the plastic. And that's what's going to come in the box. These retail for right around $29, which is a great price considering how versatile these carts can be. They used to retail at $50, and they were still a deal at that price. Starting off, you're going to want to put your side braces together. They slip together, you know, fairly easily. and they use these little tiny black screws. But there's a trick to almost anything you buy at Ikea if it's made out of metal. The number one thing you need, Loctite. This will make all the difference in any project. It's gonna hold all your nuts and bolts securely in place. And as a matter of fact, if you look at the wheels on the cart, they've already been coated with a little bit of blue Loctite. So at least that part's covered. So the first thing you do is you get your two side braces together. You can see that they attach right there in the center, each one, with two of those simple little black screws. Moving on, the next thing that we're going to assemble is the bottom part of the frame, using all these curved pieces here. Again, these go together fairly easy. They just slip together, like so and are held in place by a single small black screw that you're going to put in the center there. And that's all there is to it. Right there is where you're going to be putting that screw. Once you get them together, get everything all lined up. You can see where that screw is in there, nice and tight, nice and flush. Get it lined back up and now you're going to attach your side brackets to your bottom brackets. Just make sure that all your screw holes line up because you're going to have two screws at the bottom of each one of these brackets on each side. So they'll slip together just like that. And then if you can see right down here is where those screw holes are going to be. So you're going to need four more of those little tiny black screws for this part of the project. One, two, three, four. With those screws attached, your entire frame should be fairly solid. You should be able to pick it up, move it around, no issues. It shouldn't slip, rotate, spin, or anything like that. If you used your Loctite properly, those screws aren't going to be coming back out. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and slip one of the baskets all the way down over top. We're going to go ahead and get that one shored up in place with these side brackets. Those go on the outside, just like that. So make sure you line them up with that hole there in the framing and then the hole in the side of the basket. You're going to be using these uh, bolts and nuts for this part of the project and again we're going to be using our blue Loctite. We'll go ahead and get our bracket, slip our bolt in place. Line it up correctly. Take our little nut on the other side. And just lightly tighten it for now until we get the other side lined up. Do the same thing on the other side. Bolt goes right through the bracket there, through the frame, and into the side of the basket. There's our nut. You can see the blue Loctite. I'll go ahead and put that inside of there. And just Tighten those on up. Now that everything is aligned, you're good. 
to properly line up the rest of the baskets, what you're going to want to do is slide them all into place at this point. So you slide your second one over the top, and you slide your third one over the top. Let me get that lined up there. And you can see how they're all kind of in place. Now, if you turn the cart on its side, it makes everything a lot easier. You can go ahead and line up your top one first. That's what you're going to want to do. Don't mess with the middle one right now. You'll line that up one, line that up here in a couple minutes. But go ahead and get that top one lined up and bracket it into place using the same brackets and the same procedure as you did with the one on the bottom. All right, well, with the bottom basket and our top basket in place, now our middle basket, we can put it wherever we want. But we'll be using the same brackets as the other part of the project. Same bolts and nuts. We don't have a frame we're going through, so you can adjust this wherever you want. Personally, I like mine right in the middle lined up with where the bars come together. I think it actually strengthens up this cart quite a bit. Not that it really needs it, to be honest. All right, well, our middle basket's in place. Everything's tightened up. Everything's secure. So the last part of the project is going to be to put those wheels on. So the wheels screw right into the bottom. Four wheels, four holes. Very simple. You just take the, the wheel, line it up, and screw it into the bottom of the basket. And there you go. You can see I already got the one wheel in. This wheel I'll kind of show you. Just use that wrench and you tighten up this, the wheel from the, from the top of it. You'll see when you're working with this project how that, how that rotates. You can hold the wheel in place as you're rotating that. Just tighten it up. Keep going and it'll get nice and snug. A little extra torque and your wheels good to go and here's the finished cart the Rascog three basket cart from IKEA solid metal very sturdy super useful at our house right now I think we've got about six of these I'm gonna be using this one in the garage for some workout equipment I'm actually gonna zip tie some things to the side of it to hold other things in place but Again, the internet is chock full of ideas for what you can use these for. I use one in my office for bike equipment and the other one for other workout equipment, but this black one here is going out on the garage.